Yeah, I love it. So yeah, if you've enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you much for being here. So today's video is gonna be a mixie, a cross between a mullet and a pixie. One of the biggest trends which was happening last year, along with the wolf cut and the butterfly cut, which are transcending into 2023, so is the mixie. The bixie is sort of tailing off a little bit, which is a, between a bob and a pixie. But the mixie is just that little bit edgier, a little bit softer, but you've, you're maintaining that length around like the neck and everything like that, but it's a lot shorter around the front. And that's what we're gonna to do today on this mannequin. So I've got this mannequin here today, and it's just an old bob haircut that we, we were practicing the color on and we were cutting. So it's a perfect length to take somebody, if they come into the salon and they've got a what? Where's that? Nearly kissing the shoulders. Shoulders? Nearly kissing the shoulders. Um, bob outgrown, they want something a little bit different, a little bit edgier. So we've got that length still around here that we can really tuck in here, and then we take that short up there so we maintain that length through there. So today's video is gonna be the Mixie. Big trend, 2023, I can't wait to show you it. What's gonna be different with this haircut that you might have seen across the internet, across YouTube, uh, people are using razors, people are using normal scissors, and I'm going to be using my Evos. You know my trusty Evos from Alpha Italia. I'll grab them. If you are new to the channel and you haven't seen them, there we go. These are my Evos. And the way that they're different, you can see that the cutting blade is curved slightly through there, and we've got 15 teeth. I swear it's 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 teeth on there. And what that will do is we can take away length if we just speed up towards the end. And I'll be showing you this. But then when we go in and we can put scaffolding in and we can really loosen up that hair all in one motion. That's why these are my, are my go to's. You can create anything with them and do it all in one sort of clean motion. So yeah, really looking forward to bringing you the mixy. Let's get into it. Right guys, so you know I like to keep it nice and simple when it comes to cutting hair, sectionings and everything like that. Not putting anything too exaggerated in. But this is going to be basically front to back sections. I'll jump up on the board to show you the sectioning pattern and there'll just be some sections in between. Let me just drop this down a little bit. Right, so we're going to start on that high point of the head and we're just going to find that middle part in. So the reason I'm doing a lot of my videos with the Evo scissors is because I'm going to be running some courses this year, hopefully next year, the year after, with the guys at Alpha Italia. Uh, I'm going up to, when's this video going to go live? Maybe, maybe tomorrow. So if you're watching it tomorrow, today, I'm traveling to Manchester uh, and I'm going to Alan Howard to discuss all the courses with all of the sales reps um, and stuff like that. So in my community tab on, on YouTube, I've got a little uh, mailer, sign up. And you can literally put your email address in, sign up, and uh, when I'm doing my courses or from wherever I am in the world, uh, I'll be sending out like a tour date sort of thing, and you're able to see where I am. And if you are about, you want to come to an education session, you are more than welcome to. And then what we want to do is we're going to be working with a bit of like a shorter fringe, so which is quite heavy. So basically, again, flat point in the head where it, where it sort of comb comes off of that head. That is where I'm going to go back to, like so. And that's going to be our fringe section when we come to cut it. Next section, high point of the head, we are going to draw down, straight down, and it comes to just behind the ear on both sides. Colour on this mannequin, so this was a level 9 mannequin, and I've used a 4SB, these are all demi liquids, Joico, 4SB, 6NG and then 5M. So it's just a really nice flattened off, smoky root. Uh, about two inches, two and a half inches melted through, and then we just rinsed it, and it just nicely toned the ends as well, which is nice. And then when we come to the back, we're just gonna follow that section down. But when we get to just above, there's it tip to bone there. When we get to an inch above it, I just want to draw across, and then just get that out of the way. So we'll jump over to the board, and I'll take you through the sectioning. Flat of the head here to there, and then we just draw that little triangle there, which can be our fringe. High point of the head, 
there, comes to just behind the ear, and then we we'll just want to come to the, this. This is a little bit different. We want to come to above the occipital bone. The occipital bone, I suppose, it's quite close. Across there. So the occipital bone will come to the middle of the ear. Through there. We've got a section down the back, like that. So section there, one was the fringe, section two on both sides, put numbers in. One, two, three, and then four, five, and then we've got this left out here. So we've got four, and then five. Well, we've already got a length in there, and I don't really want to touch that length to be honest, it's quite a nice length. Um, but where I will start to adjust it is where we come through here, because we need to connect the sides. So when it comes to what we're going to be cutting, we're going to start straight down middle back and then what we want to be doing is we want to be finding that length I just want to elevate slightly I'm just going to go in with these evos and then as we are cutting I get quicker towards the edge towards the ends so they're a little bit finer and just so you can see We've got that shape. So we're just loosening up. Compared to this bulk here, this is all now loosened up and it's all cut internally through here. So again, I'm just gonna take a little bit more elevation there. Through there. Now you can see that shape falling through there. Next section. Again, we're not going to use that previous section as a guide, purely for the fact we could be cutting into it too much. So we had our guide, which is the length, and then we elevated slightly. We find our length there. We go in, and then as I'm coming away, I'm just speeding up these scissors. It's just loosened all that up through there. And you can see these short pieces now. And it's just going to really loosen all that up in there, but put a nice bit of structure into there. And again, we don't want to be touching the previous section, so we're just combing it out of the way. And with, this is a moving guide, so we're working around the head, which is why I said when we get to this corner, the length might be adjusted slightly, just because where the head starts to curve up. So again, we find our length, which is right there. We go in. And as I'm pulling away, just gonna go in again, loosen it up, and just catch these little pieces, just to shut that off a little bit more. Combing it out of the way. Next section. So I'm just gonna move the head around. Rather than me moving my body position around, I'm just moving the head, just to keep it in shot. Okay, length. And then last section. So my body is directly in front of the section. That's where I want it to be. Find the length. You see that length just goes up slightly, but that's loosened all of that up in there. Maintain the length, but we've actually put loads of texture built into there. There's that, we're just going to comb that to the side, get my body position behind this section. Again, comb uh, length as our guide, combing it out, elevate slightly, looking at our guide.
perfect balance. And then when we come to cross check, exactly the same as we would normally do, pulling that hair out. And if there's anything more than dust, which is a tiny bit, you want to be going back through your sections. But this, bang on. And you should see now, so that head shape is now building up in there. And it's just kicking out on that mullet length through there. I want to be finding a bit of that length from underneath, which is there. And again, we're just elevating slightly. There's my guide, which is my length I've just cut in. Through there. And it builds up a real nice bit of weight into there. Looking for the guide from underneath, the length, which is there. And move up onto this top section where we find the guide. We go in. Next section, we're forgetting about the previous one we've just cut, but we're looking for our, I'll spin this around. But we're just looking for a guide with the length underneath, which is there. And you're going with your scissors. And you can see we've got a shattered blunt line there. So it's not blunt pull, but you know what I mean. But it's all nice and soft and textured in there. Pull out, we find the guide which is right on my finger now. Elevate in. Through there, like that. And again, if we cross check, you'll see a shattered line, but you'll still have a line. I'm going to go on with this other side and then we'll reconvene when we get to the sides. But there we go. So we've got all of that. You can see the weight point that we wanted to keep, which is sitting around through there. All of that built in texture already. And then that is just all softened off. And probably what I will do, I'll just get these Evos and I'll just pull out a little bit just on that bottom, just to loosen up a little bit more through there better. I'm going to be working from the parietal ridge, which is the curvature of the head. Through there, we put our comb there and you'll see the gap that's here. Where that head starts to curve away, that's called the parietal ridge. Right, so we need to be 
taking quite a bit of length off here now, but we've got a lot of it here. And where that's sitting, sitting around about the earlobe. So I'm just going to push this forward. I'm going to pull out and we're going to elevate because we're creating softness. We're using the previous as our guide. We'll grab a little bit of that bottom piece from before, which is there. I'll do it here so you can see a bit better. So I've already put the, the shape in there, which we can see. But the quicker you go with the scissors, the more it takes off. Just grab a little bit from before. Let's just see it through. And the quicker you go, the reason I start off slow is because I just want to see what we're, what we're taking off. And then we speed up when you see that shape it gives through there. And I'm just grabbing a piece from before, which is there. And then I just pull out slowly, just to give us a little bit more length on the top. And it's sitting through there but you've already got all the built-in texture i mean we can put in more if we want to you could go in that little bit sort of deeper in there but we could do that dry so next section pick up a bit from before so we've got our guide Through there. And again, next section, we're just picking up, let's spin around, picking up a little bit of the underneath section. So we've got our guide, which is there. We've got that elevation. We start off slow, so we're just starting to put in, and then as we speed up, we start to take more and more hair off. And it's starting to give us that shape. Last section on this side, Again, picked up that little bit, starting off slow. There we go. So again, this side parietal ridge, which is where the head starts to curve. And again, how can we tell? Put our comb in there. Flip that out of the way. Again, pick up a little bit of that back section for our guide there. Start off slow and as we've got our length, we just start to put it back in. There. Next section. I'm going to pull a little bit of that bottom out into here. See the guide. You go in.
through there. And that is our shape all built up. What's that? There's always one bit in there. That's our shape. All loads of texture, all built in there. Through there, through there. Now let's do the fringe. And again, stick with the Evos. It's only, a, it's only a little section. So I'm just gonna draw down the middle. So I, could, I can create a guide. We want to sit about brow. So if we look at there, I'm just going to measure with my scissors. There. Perfect. Now we're going to get and pull in this side. I'm going to push that up into that middle. I'm just going to take all of that off to that guide that I just put in. Through there. Just kept, it just melts in. Got them covered in here. Just covers, just melts in with that side. Let's just get our middle bit again. Pick up our fringe. We find our guide, which is there. Make sure we over direct it. That hair comes all the way to that middle. There's my straight edge. And then what I do, just go in a little bit deeper just to add a bit more texture. It's as if we have already just chipped into it and everything, whereas we've just used our Evos to create this shape. I think the colour will really add to it as well, because you'll be able to see all the depth and everything that's built in there. There you go, face the camera. Cool, I'll get it blow dried and then I'll show the finished result. So I'm just gonna wrap dry. I'm gonna use the unreleased, this is an unreleased Alpha Italia. There we go. Unreleased Alpha Italia little paddle brush. That's just it wrap dried and then uh, a little bit of a round brush blow dry. So what I'm going to get now, I'm going to get my soft cuts. So I've already put in all the texture, I just want to be really softening off this haircut now. And these soft cuts will take off more hair than the Evos because the teeth are close, closer together and there's more of them. So it's basically like a straight blade that's softer, which is why it's called a soft cut scissor. And now what I want to do, I'm just going to open up some of this through the bottom just to make it a little bit more lived in, a little bit more looseness to it. Just working around just to tailor the haircut now with the soft cuts. We could do it with the straight blades but we just want to, this is something that's a little bit different. Good job she isn't real. So the poke in the eyebrow. There we go. There's our little 
textured pixie haircut. And then when we look at it, cross with a mullet. Through there. So that's why this is called a mixie. Completely cut with the Evo scissors uh, from wet and then the soft cuts just to really um, soften it all off. But there's the back. So that is the mullet side of it, where we're keeping this mullet length through here. And then it just all sort of transitions all the way up into this little pixied off. And the color really sort of sets it off as well because the, the deep root with the blonde ends, just I think they add that sort of dirtiness to it. Um, but you can see all that, that built in texture that's in there. Yeah, I love it. So yeah, if you've enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up. And then uh, we'll see you on the next video.